morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of this Mass on this Friday of the first week in Ordinary Time. And today's Mass intentions are being offered for the repose of the souls of Brandy Rodriguez, Arlene Boniface, and Mladen Butin, Buntich. Entrance Antiphone. All that you have done to us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment, for we have sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us according to the bounty of your mercy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pandering, by pardoning, and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be on guard while the promise of entering into his rest remains, that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have received the good news just as our ancestors did. But the word that they heard did not profit them, for they were not united in faith with those who listened. For we who believed enter into that rest, just as he has said, as I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet his works were accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in the previously mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive to enter into that rest so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and know, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generation to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength. Do not forget the works of the Lord, that they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commands. Do not forget the works of the Lord and not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation that kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. 
Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A great prophet has, aris has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now, some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The readings today invite us to reflect in, in our own hearts where we stand in, in as far as our relationship with God, our trust in Him, and our faith in Him. Certainly, Jesus is the, the example for us, the model of the one who truly did the will of his Father through and through, even unto death. And for doing so, uh, fulfilled um, the salvation plan of, of God, that we are beneficiaries and we're also called to participate in, in this mission of bringing God's love and, and, and his plan to, to save everyone. But yet, we keep in mind that as the readings presented to us this morning, that we need to focus, that our sight need to be focused on Christ as we tirelessly make our way to perfect union with him. And like the paralytic who was brought by the four men, how their persistence and their conviction to see Christ to be close to him can be also an, um, a model for us or an encouragement for us to follow the same um, attitude, focusing on Christ, seeking for his um, direction, and just knowing who he is and remembering all the, the acts of love that he performed and demonstrated to us. All this will help us in great length to bring us then to the final, uh, to the promise given to us by Lord, by, by God, to all of us, in fact, to be with him forever in heaven. Confident in the Lord's mercy, let us present to him our needs and petitions. 
For our church, may her members continue to grow in holiness and strength as we journey together to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, may God help them in, in always serving with selfless wisdom and also for them to have the willingness to work together in unity to bring about healing in the country because of the divide and for a, a peaceful transition here in our country's government. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees fleeing violence or poverty, may the Lord look graciously upon them and provide them a place of welcome and respite. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Once again, we pray for all those working in the front line that God will continue to protect them and deliver them from the harm of this coronavirus. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our midst who have suffered from this pandemic and those who are suffering great loss, may they be filled with God's consolation and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who have died, especially our loved ones, we remember this time, particularly for the repose of the souls of Brandy Rodriguez, Arlene Boniface, and Ladin Bantich. May they enjoy the eternal rest for which they strived in their life of faith. We pray to the Lord. And let us now pray for our own intentions in silence. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we ask that you hear the prayers of your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Randy, Arlene, and Ladin, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Peter Claver and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always, 
We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now join together in saying an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ to those suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So weekend is coming. We have confessions from 2 to 3.30 tomorrow, Saturday, here at, outside the plaza, out in the plaza. And we have 4 p.m. Mass in Spanish. And then on Sunday, we have 8 a.m., which is also live streamed, and communion, um, drive through communion from 9 to 9.30 a.m. after the live streaming. Also 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Sunday. Now, if the, the weather doesn't change, there's strong wind. Uh, we have tried putting the, the altar inside the, the awning of the, the church or inside the, the covering of the church. And we were able to do so, but it, it certainly will be too windy for the people out there. So just w watch out for announcement if, there, if in, in fact that will happen because of the strong wind. Uh, we will announce any changes. So watch out for our Paris bullet, 
our uh, Paris website and Facebook page. And once again, I want to thank our tech team for their loving commitment to serve our community to make sure that we reach out to you through this live streaming. So they're very important uh, members of our community that um, their service certainly is, is appreciated very much. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.